What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy V9, the tech guru, and y'all already know what the f*** it is, man. Back with another commentary, man. I'm just excited to be back. I know I haven't made a video in some time now. I truly apologize. I've just been so busy preparing for this Mayweather Pacquiao fight, just getting everything set up and, like, putting everything together. But I apologize, but I'm back. I'm back, you guys. I'm back with a vengeance. But, man, I got some things that I have got to talk about with you guys, man. I am just like, wow. If... Man, I could just, wow, I'm just blown away by this fight. This fight, to me, just wasn't really, like, exciting, in my opinion. It just didn't have that oomph that I was looking for. I was really looking for this fight to really just give me, like, goosebumps on how good this fight was going to be. Um, and to me, it just didn't live up to the hype. Honestly, my, my, my thoughts are this. I think that the fight could have been way better. Honestly, the undercard fights were better than the actual main event. And that's pretty sad for a Mayweather. Well, honestly, no, I'm not going to say for a Mayweather fight. It's pretty sad for a Pacquiao fight. But it's not all the way Pacquiao's fault. You, you can't blame him for that. Personally, I'm not a Mayweather fan. You can call me a Pacquiao fanboy. I like Pacquiao's style of fight. I like a barrage-style puncher. I like a go-getting kind of guy. Not a guy who plays defense and runs all over the ring. Because personally, this wasn't a fight. This was a track meet. Pac May Mayweather just ran literally all around the ring. He ran the whole time. There was not a fight at all. I mean, you call yourself the greatest ever and you're a champion. Well, then act like a champion and fight. I just don't understand it. his style of fighting. I mean, his style of fighting is, I know he's, I know he's a defensive counterpuncher. That's great. But your fights are boring. That was beyond boring. I mean, so boring to where there are several professional athletes who came out and said how his fight really was. Um, Mike Tyson was one of them. Mike Tyson came out on his on his Twitter account and said, "We waited five years for this underwhelmed Maypack." See, that alone spoke volumes, just all by itself. Because a lot of people can say, "Well, you you only saying it because you don't like Mayweather. You only saying it because X." I said, "No, you don't understand, man. You can call it what you want to call it, but I'm just gonna call it what it is, man. That, that fight was boring." Very, very boring. And then even Oscar De La Hoya came out and said this. Said on his Twitter account, I'm just not into the running, the boxing running style. I like jumping out of my seat because a fight was ex existing and the fans got their money's worth. And then he went on to say, call me old school, but I like the fans getting their money's worth by watching an action-packed fight. And then a little bit after he said this. Can't wait for some real action next week. Canelo versus K.O. Kirkland at HBO Boxing. And then, of course, he went on to apologize. Sorry, boxing fans. To me, that spoke volumes. That spoke extreme volumes to me. Because a lot of people could say, well, you know, uh, I just don't believe that, uh, you know, I don't think that Mayweather just did a, a good job. I mean, a Pacquiao did a good job. You know, he just couldn't, he just couldn't stand up to what Mayweather was putting out and man you gotta understand Pacquiao number one not trying to get knocked out by Mayweather at all and I don't blame him Pacquiao in my opinion could have been a little more aggressive I will definitely give you that he could have been much more aggressive but he just wasn't and you know I, I think that he could have just did a lot better but you know in his defense like I said he's not trying to get knocked out Let's just call it what it is and I ain't, I ain't trying to ride his, like, ride his team or, or ride his, jump on his bandwagon or anything like that. I'm just calling it what it is. The last four Mayweather fights have been boring. Like, these fights are boring. They're not even exciting. And I'm very, very glad that I didn't pay $100 for that. I went to a fight party. There was no way in hell. My, I haven't paid for the last four Mayweather fights, and I'm surely not going to pay for that one. Because to me, his fights are just boring. They're just way too boring. They don't have any action. They don't have that oomph that I'm looking for in a fight. Because, I mean, to me, just it just doesn't live up. I wish that his fights would have been a little more exciting because Mayweather's fights have gotten so dry and so boring. I, I don't even know what to say, man. It's, it's just Mayweather's stuff is boring. Now, one thing that one person did say, and it kind of tripped me out when he said this, but, um, you know, well, uh, you're saying that because, you know, Mayweather's making more money and Mayweather's undefeated and he's going to stay undefeated. That's great. But then another person went on to literally say, well, look at the stats. Look at the look at the punching stats. You know, you can't say that, Ma that Manny Pacquiao won that fight and you got to look at the stats. And I'm like, dude, okay, let's look at the stats. 
Okay, granted, Mayweather landed more punches. I give him that. He landed way more punches. I'm not going to deny that. But the problem I have with that is, is the fact that let's look at the stats for Castillo and Mayweather. The stats for Castillo and Mayweather, oh my God. Yeah, apples to oranges. Castillo not only threw more punches, but his land percentage was a lot higher than Mayweather's was, and they still didn't give him the fight. So how do you explain that then? Like, How do you possibly explain the fact that he threw more punches, landed more punches than Mayweather, his percentage was higher, but he lost the fight? I don't quite understand it. I mean, to me, I, I think I think that boxing has really went downhill in a, in a major, major way, in my opinion. Boxing just has really went downhill. It just ain't the same like it used to be. When when fighters actually stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and went in the ring and actually threw bows and, and you saw an exciting fight, you were IDOC jumping, like yelling at the TV because you were so pissed off about what your favorite fighter wasn't doing or how they was doing. You just didn't see that. You, honestly, you don't see that in... You haven't seen it in the last four Mayweather fights, and you're not going to see it because his fights are just dry. They're dry and boring. There's, there's no excitement in his fights anymore. So I'm just going to call it what it is. And to pay $100 for that? Nah, there was no way I was going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to pay $100 for his fights. And and another thing, too, like Manny Pacquiao, in my opinion, still is the better fighter. He's the better fighter, in my opinion. No questions asked. Hands down, he's the better fighter. So, I'm just going to simply call it what it is. And another thing, too, like, with Floyd Mayweather, you got to remember, um, he's not really looking to lose either because his stock goes down big time. No one's going to want people, – people buy Mayweather's fights to see him lose. They don't buy his fights to see him win. They want to see him get an L. And that's the reality of the situation. They want to see him get his ass beat. And honestly, I think Manny, Pac Manny Pacquiao – <clears throat> can still do it. I think he can still definitely get the job done if they do a rematch. Because but Manny Pacquiao has to get fully aggressive. He has to open up on him. You can't. He can't be afraid to get knocked out. So what? You, at this point, you have a little more to prove. Because now that this fight is over and it actually happened and it was absolutely boring, like there's nothing else to see anymore. There's no excitement. People want to see you literally whoop his ass. That, that's the bottom line. Because I just don't think that that Mayweather really is a better fighter. I think he's a better defensive fighter, without a shadow of a doubt. It's a damn good defensive fighter. I mean, will literally throw hands and, and counter punch like nobody's business. And will duck and sway and, and shoulder roll and do he dug but he but he ran. He ran that entire fight. I mean, the fact that Oscar De La Hoya said what he said and Mike Tyson said what he said, that proves my point. Like you got I could give you my amateur opinion, but they gave you the straight professional opinion. And these are great fighters, great champions. Oscar De La Hoya, great champion. Mike Tyson was a great champion. These guys got in the ring and literally had wars in the ring. That's how fighting is supposed to be. Not the running style, I'm going to dodge and run and dance all over the ring. Man, even Muhammad Ali didn't do that. Muhammad Ali, he danced over the ring, but Muhammad Ali went in and, and threw combinations. Went in and threw combinations, and then he'll dance around and duck and sway, but he'll still run in and throw combinations. That's why Muhammad Ali's fights were so exciting, but not only the fact that he hyped the fight up by talking so much shit that kind of made it better but still the fact of the matter is he didn't run from no fighters Mayweather you call yourself the greatest and you talk so much shit dude talk so much shit about what they're gonna do to Manny Pacquiao are oh, we gonna we gonna rest this we gonna put his ass to rest we gonna, we gonna lay his ass down we gonna do this man y'all didn't man that fight looked like it was a sparring session that wasn't a fight at all that was these guys barely even got hurt like neither one of them they look like they just went in the ring and trained a little bit and sweat like they didn't really get hurt for real like wasn't much of a fight if you ask me. I'm just calling it what it is. But anyway, you guys, I ain't going to rant on and on. I ain't going to talk your ears off. I just give y'all my thoughts on the fight on what I thought. I think it could have been a lot better. Like I said, I don't hate man. I don't hate Floyd Mayweather. I'm just not a Mayweather fan. I prefer Pacquiao outside of fighting. I like I like foreign fighters. A lot of foreign fighters, they really get in the ring and, and prove themselves. They get in there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe and actually give you an exciting fight. That's just my opinion. These American fighters, you can tell Mayweather is not about the, the sport anymore. It's obvious. Listen to this conversation. He talks about how much money he makes and how much money he's going to make and how much of a draw he is. Yeah, you're a draw because you're undefeated. And you t and you talk so much trash in the ring. But talk about the love of the sport. Actually like the sport of boxing, not for the money. You know, the money going to come regardless. But he don't talk about the love of the sport. He talks about his money. He's about his money, plain and simple. 
and he just literally got in the ring for an hour or so and just made $180 million. Just like that. For one hour. Wow. $83,000 a second he made. $83,000. Wow. But anyway, man, I hope that's, I hope they have a rematch because I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, that's enough of this. Uh, I, I, went, I, did, I did a pretty good job on the match. I, I, threw, up a, I threw up an orbital. Um, got a pretty good KD. But I love Domination. But I just can't wait till Black Ops 3 come out. But it's your boy V9, the tech guru. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.